hello everybody uh, so we're gonna test all these SD cards here with this Lexar micro SD and SD card reader it's a UHS 2 a USB 3.1 uh, super fast USB micro SD and uh, SD card reader we're gonna test a Sony 15 megabyte per second uh, SanDisk uh, generic Kingston, a Kingston Canvas Go Plus a SanDisk Ultra, a SanDisk Extreme and a SanDisk Extreme Pro and we're gonna also put them in these uh, two um, converters and SD, micro SD to SD converters and see if there's a difference and please before you see the results consider liking and subscribing because it helps me a lot okay now let's see what the speed of the Sony is okay so this is how this is gonna work we're gonna use this program called Crystal Disk Mark 8 and it didn't work on the Sony so we're testing the SanDisk 64 gigabyte 170 uh, megabytes per second read we're gonna see just how fast it is. I'll press this and uh, fast forward until it's uh, until it ends. Okay, it's done. As you can see, we're getting a read speed of, of about 177 megabytes per second and a write speed of about 100 megabytes per second. Uh, these are random speeds, they don't mean much as far as I know. So, yeah, the sand disk uh, performs as it says 177 megabytes, and 100 is the right speed. Okay, now let's see what the speed of the sand disk is. Okay, now let's see the speed of the Kingston. Okay, now we're doing the standard Kingston 64 gigabyte. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the Kingston did actually pretty well, 91.39 megabytes per second on the read. Not so good on the right, 26 and 25. But yeah, let's go with the next one now. Okay, now let's see the speed of the King Kingston Canvas Go Plus. Okay, now let's go with the King Kingston Canvas Go Plus. Okay, so the standard Kingston is much worse than th this can Canvas uh, Go Plus Kingston that is for 64 gigabytes. It's even better than the SanDisk in read and write. So yeah. Okay, now let's see the speed of the. SanDisk Ultra. Okay, now we're testing the SanDisk Ultra at 128 gigabyte. It says 177 gigabyte. I don't know why, but let's let's test it. Okay, so the SanDisk Ultra did 95 megabytes uh, per second read and 64 megabytes per second write, which is not bad at all, almost okay for 4K shooting, and it's not even that expensive of a card, so, yeah. Okay, now let's see the speed of the SanDisk, SanDisk Extreme. Okay, now we're testing the SanDisk Extreme 32 gigabyte. Let's see how it goes.
Okay, so the Sandisk, Sandisk Extreme didn't really do much better than the Ultra, but that might be because uh, the, the, the Extreme is 32 gigabytes and the Ultra is 128 gigabytes. And usually, car manufacturers they make the higher capacity cards faster, but it still does have a faster write speed than the Ultra. And finally the SanDisk Extreme Pro and this is a special SanDisk Extreme Pro because it is 256 GB so it's a bit faster than the standard uh, Extreme Pro as it's rated at 200 MB per second uh, read and 170 MB per second write Ok and now we're finally doing the SanDisk Ultra 256 GB version Okay, so as I was saying, the higher the capacity, the faster the card will be. As you can see from the right speed there, it's 40 megabytes faster than the Extreme Pro 64 gigabyte. But it's a little bit disappointing that it's only one megabyte faster in the read, but read isn't that important as, as right is when it comes to uh, shooting 4K and uh, taking a lot of pictures at once like this uh, burst of shooting and yeah so yeah and now let's test now I'll just uh, show you and I'll put them in the converters and we'll see if there's a difference okay just to show you guys there's basically no difference in the SD card and the uh, micro SD card like when you put the adapter there's only like half a megabyte of difference it's, it's half a megabyte slower and also I should add this this SD card is the SanDisk, SanDisk Extreme Pro 200 megabyte uh, per second version and I should also add that it's not common that uh, Extreme Pro is 200 megabytes. So I got the special version. There are uh, 170 megabytes usually. That's why mine is uh, 140 megabytes per second read, and yours my, might not be. I mean, write, not read. Okay, as you can see, the Kingston is actually a bit faster on with the SD card adapter. So and that's not all i have some something more in store for you guys as i said that's not all i also f forgot i had the lexar 633x 128 gigabyte a1 and now we're gonna see how fast that is also guys please like and subscribe this video took me already three hours to make and it's not even over i have to upload it and edit it so Please uh, show some support, okay? Okay, finally, let's test, test the Lexar card. Okay, so the Lexar surprised me the most because I was expecting it to be as good as the Sandisk or the Kingston, but it's apparently even worse than the SanDisk Ultra but I guess and it's not even that less expensive than the SanDisk or the Kingston all in all the clear winner is the Kingston if you're going for 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes for 32 gigabytes I don't know what to say probably still Kingston and if you really want the best of the best, um, get a SanDisk uh, 200 or I think they sell even SanDisk 300 megabyte per second card. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.